Hola mis amores, Leti here again with another pick a card reading. So I wanted to um, give a shout out to Kadria Cousins for this reading. She did ask specifically for a life purpose reading. So um, thanks Kadria. If anybody has a, um, you know, a recommendation or anything like that for a pick a card reading, just go ahead and put it in the comments down below. I will try to do it. Um, I was sick for two weeks. I'm over it now. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, send out some more stuff. Okay. So um, today's pick a card reading is what is your life purpose? I will be channeling messages. Um, I am clear audience. And for those of you that don't know what that is, that's somebody who can hear from spirit. Okay. So um, I'm also going to be using to clarify the Bluebird Lenormand deck and just the regular Rider Waite deck, okay? So keep in mind, I will also pull some um, charms, okay? And I used some big props today. Um, I wanted it to come through on the camera. Um, so we'll go over the piles. Go ahead and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The first number you hear between one and three is your pile. Okay, that's the way I like to pick a pile. Usually spirit will tell me which pile is mine. Um, but keep in mind if you, you're not clear audience, go ahead and think about your pile right now. This is going to be pile number one, the big um, rose or flower. Okay, pile number one. Pile number two is going to be this glass um Four. Okay, I got all of these from my mom. God rest her soul. So that's why I have them. The next one is the palo or the palita. That's what we call it in Spanish. I always thought this was a cool prop. Ever since I was little, we've had this. Um, and I always thought it was cool. So if you want the palo, that's yours. Okay, keep in mind I am Mexican. So you may hear me speak in Spanglish from time to time. Okay, but uh, go ahead and pick your pile now. Okay, I will channel messages from Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, my ancestors, my mom. Okay, and let's get started. So I asked a very specific question, what is my life purpose? So for pile number one, if you pick pile number one, this is your pile, okay? First card you got is the Hedge Witch. Number five, Herb Wisdom, Secrets, Hidden Love, okay? So keep in mind, you may not be a witch. You may have that in your ancestors, though. I'm feeling really strong. You may or may not know that you are a witch. I'm getting told you know this already. If you pick pile number one. Number five is the number of change. Okay. You may have dark features. You may have dark hair. Okay. You may have olive skin and dark penetrating eyes. Okay. So I selected these at random. Um, I'm getting told spells. You may cast spells. You may be into voodoo or santeria. Um, I'm getting told spells a lot. You may do some spell work. You may be a magician. I wouldn't be surprised if a magician card pops out. Okay, with this pile, pile number one. I'm getting a lot of intuitive hits. So we'll, we'll go over them a little bit more. Okay, next card we got is the five of rods. I'm getting told competition. You may have had a lot of people try to hold you back, hold you down, and therefore not bring forward your gifts. If you do come forward with your gifts, you are gonna be very strong. I know that right away. I feel that very, very intensely. This pile is having me feel very intense. Um, oh, I'm getting a lot of little messages. You have people in your life that never wanted to see your magnetism, your shine, because they know how strong you are, okay? They wanted to hold you back. Don't let them. Don't let them hold you back. Your ancestors are here, and they're telling you don't let them hold you back, okay? You may have psychic abilities. You may be able to astral project. You may be able to dreamwalk, is what I'm hearing. Uh, you may have cats. You may have deities around you that have come forth in this life as pets, okay? Um, 
Also, you have people that in your lineage, you may have ancestral problems. Next card, Page of Pentacles. You may be very good with money or you are going to be very good with money, okay? Your knowledge is going to bring you coin, is what I'm hearing. Okay, bitch. Um, don't let it stop you. I'm telling you again, don't let it stop you. You may be a Reiki master. You may be a tarot reader. Okay, you need to trust yourself. You need to trust your gifts. Next card, Cancer. You might be a Cancer or know a Cancer in your life. That's of importance here. Next card we got is Great Personality. You have a great personality. Don't diminish yourself. Don't diminish your light for anybody. Okay? You may be very outgoing or people may just draw to you very very near and dear friends you may have i'm hearing um you may be the life of the party also okay don't let anybody diminish you um use that if it comes to fortune telling if it comes to anything for tarot voodoo use this to your advantage the next card you got is a leo you might be a leo or you might know a leo Libra, you might be a Libra, or there may be one of importance here for this pile, pile number one. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. I will clarify with the Bluebird Lenormand deck and with the Rider Waite deck, okay? Next card, Aries. You might be an Aries, or an Aries may be significant in your life, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull some Lenormand cards to clarify. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, for pile number one. Please give me clarity. Give me one card. Okay, birds. Again, I am feeling pets. Okay, ring. That popped out of nowhere. I honestly did not try to push that card. Um, we'll do birds first. For what I'm hearing is you were married to somebody who tried to stop you. Um, they may have been abusive, okay? Um, you may have had somebody in your life that tried to stop you because they know how powerful you were. Bird, if you go outside right now, it is springtime. I know COVID-19 is rampant right now. Try to get outside. You may hear from birds. You may hear lots of whistling. I'm hearing whistling in my ear. Very, very intense right now when it comes to birds. Um, you may have an ancestor who's trying to come through as a bird. I'm getting told to pull another the Lenormand card, okay? So these are your cards. Again, birds and the ring. Okay, I'll read them in a minute. All right. Next card from the Lenormand deck. I'm getting told to pull one more for this pile. Yeah, I feel really intense with this one. Anchor. You may have been in the military. You may have been in the Navy. I was in the military, so I know a lot of my um, military people watch me. Um, anchor. You are the anchor from your family is what I'm hearing. Okay? You have generational curses that you have to get rid of. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and read these cards for you now. Okay? So the anchor says number 35. 3 plus 5 is an 8. may mean something to you, may not. It may be your life path. Okay? It says, the anchor is a sign of a stable event, basked in sunshine, secure and content. When the anchor is some distance away from you, hope will fade and leave life askew. So right now you may feel like your life is up in the air. That's what I'm sensing. Okay. Stay grounded. Stay close to earth. Get out. I'm getting told get out. Go and be out in nature. Okay. File number one. Oh, okay. I'm hearing you may be a magician or a witch that deals with the elements and the air element may be of importance with this deck. You may be able to control the air or things that fly in the air. Birds, animals. Okay, I'm getting told you may be able to speak to animals using telepathy. So let's read the card, the bird card. 
Whew, this one's a little bit intense for me. Okay, so this is number 12. One plus two is a three. You may be a life path three, you may not. This may be of importance to you, number 12. Okay, the bird says, birds bring a message full of cheer. This is a card falls distant. All is not clear. Whatever the outcome, remain without fear. Woes will be, will be brief when the birds disappear. Mm. So I'm getting told that um, your ancestors are trying to bring you a message. Okay, so go out into nature and pay particular attention to birds whistling. Next card you have is ring. And again, I was sensing marriage. I'm getting told marriage. This has to do with marriage. You were married to somebody that wanted to dim your light. It says, ring is to the right. Your love is alive. It will ever be bright and continue to thrive. Ring to the left and troubles begin. Your heart will be cleft and filled with chagrin. I'm sorry. I don't know what chagrin means. Um, I'm getting told again. You know, women, we put the ring on our left hand, okay? Um, this, again, what I'm getting told intuitively through my ancestors is that, yeah, somebody, you are married to somebody that wanted to stop you. You may be better off single, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. Again, this is a general reading, but you may be better off single. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some clarification. I'm going to pull from... The Rider Reed Tarot um, and channel some messages for you. Keep in mind they are all facing me. If they do flip, I will take the reverse meaning, okay? So, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me clarity for pile number one. Give me a message, please, for pile number one. Okay. Mm, seven of Swords. Again, you may have some people in your life who have deceived you. Okay, you got to heal your heart and you got to do what you need to do for your ancestors. I'm hearing ancestral hurts, ancestral wounds. You have people in your life that want to come through. I'm hearing Ruth. I'm not sure if you know somebody with that name. I'm hearing the name Ruth. What other name am I hearing? Archangel Mike, Archangel Gabriel. Please give me clarity. Ancestors, what? And that's the message for pile number one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sadness. There may have been lots of sadness you've had to deal with in the past. Um, a lot of heartbreak. You need to heal this. Okay. You need to um, study. You need to study your ancestry. You need to study your lineage, where you come from. I am hearing Egyptian, Egyptian culture. You may be of African descent. Okay. So you may have had to put up with a lot in this lifetime. You will need to heal this in order to be successful, in order to bring out your gifts. What is pile number one's gifts? Let me ask that. What is your life purpose? What is pile number one's gifts, please? Okay, the hermit. This card wants to come off too. Okay, so you need to heal your ancestry. Okay, you will have a successful um, co-partnership, co-relationship. Male or female, I'm getting told uh, same sex. You may be in a same sex relationship. That's fine too. Okay. Um, the hermit. In order to bring forth your gifts, you need to go within more. You need to study. Okay. And then you will get to the Ten of Cups. Whew. This um, pile is a little heavy for me. Okay. I'm getting told that you worry a lot. You need to stop worrying. Your money is going to be fine and you will be all right for, for, the, for your purpose that you were put here for. Okay? You need not to worry. Your ancestors have your back. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and pull some charms for you. Okay? I'm going to pull some charms. And then I'll go over everything one, one more time for you. Pile number one. So pile number one, I have here, you may have long hair or you may be into beauty. You may um, work with the public. 
you may be a hairdresser or um, you may like doing people's hair to make them feel good is what I'm sensing with that. You got a six and a one. We got the letters W, L, and U. I'm getting told these are the names of your ancestors or people in your lineage, male or female. Okay, so um, this may resonate with you, it may not. Keep in mind this is a general reading. I also got an S here. I'm hearing Sam, Samantha, Sharon, Sandra, um, Sandy. I'm hearing Sandy. Same, same, salmon, 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 something. Sounds like same. Hmm. This may be of resonance to you, may not. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? This may be somebody in your ancestry, in your lineage, or it may be your name. S, W, L, U, or it may be somebody you, you were married to, okay? Profile number one. Okay, so once again, your cards are the Hermit, Go Within, so you can get the Ten of Cups. You have a lot of pain that you have to heal. People in your past may have decept been deceptive to towards you. You may have been married in the past and somebody may have tried to keep you from shining. Pay close attention to your ancestors and birds. You may need to get grounded at this time, or you may have been in the military. You may have been in the Navy. Okay, Aries, Libra, Leo. You have a great personality. You need to believe in yourself. Cancer, Page of Pentacles. I'm getting told you're going to be a teacher, and you're going to influence others with your, with your knowledge. You need to believe in yourself. Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You may be a fire sign or you may have been married to a fire sign or you have fire signs in your past. Strong, strong people. Lots of competition. And then you got the Hedge Witch. Herb Wisdom, Secrets, Hidden Love. Pile number five. So keep in mind, if you picked pile number one, um, if you have any suggestions for a personal reading or any more pick of cards, please let me know. Um, I am in Chicago. If you do nails, please hit me up. Let me know because these dogs need to get done. Look at that. I definitely need a fill in. Okay. So I am in Chicago. I do only do personal readings by referral for now, but in the future, hopefully I'll, I'll start doing more, um, more public readings. If you came for pile number one, that is your pile. Thank you. Have a great day. If you pick pile number two, this is your pile. You chose the glass jar. I've put all kinds of stuff in here. I've burnt incense. I put oils in here. Um, this is something that my mom used to have in our living room. God rest her soul. You couldn't touch this stuff when I was little. And now it's mine. It belongs to me. So, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me clarity when we read these cards. The first card you got for pile number two is Cunning Woman, number one. Silent, observant, wily, okay? This may be you, male or female, okay? You may be very cunning. Cunning people um, are very intuitive. You may be clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, too. You may also be very um, spiritual. You may have red hair or red in your hair. You may have dyed your hair recently, I'm getting told. Uh, you may like hats and you are very stunning. You are very beautiful. You can stare somebody down and penetrate them with your eyes. Next card you got is the Six of Pentacles, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting told you are an earth sign, equal give and take. You like to be very balanced. You like to have money in your pocket is what I'm getting told. 
you may be very successful. So keep in mind, the question I asked was, what is your life purpose? You are here to make money. You may work in banking. I'm getting told you may work with money or you may work in a technology that deals with the transfer of money. Next card, yep. King of Pentacles, again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm feeling it very, very heavy. I'm getting told you're a Virgo, but it could be for anybody. Male or female, keep in mind this is a general reading. You may be very well with money. You may be very good with money, okay? So if you're doing, uh, if you're having a slowdown because of this COVID-19, this economic downturn, don't worry. Things will pick up, okay? Take this time to relax is what I'm getting told. Whew. Archangel Mike, Archangel Gabriel, please give me cards. So dark hair, you may have dark hair also in this pile. Next card. Aquarius. You may or may not be an Aquarius. Next card, Taurus. Again, I'm feeling a lot of earth with this pile. Scorpio. Next card, Sag. Next card, Virgo. I'm feeling Virgo a lot here. Sun, moon, or rising, you may be a Virgo. You may have Virgo very heavily in your chart. I'm feeling a lot of Virgo come come from my my solar plexus, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pull some Lenormand decks cards. Bluebird Lenormand decks, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Please give me one card for pile number two. Tree. Again, that earth element is very strong here. Okay, so I'm getting a few intuitive hits. Um, touch earth, you need plants, and you also need to touch soil. I'm not sure if you do manifestations during the new moon and the full moon, but you need to. You need to plant some coins and dirt, is what I'm getting told, for the next uh, new moon or full moon cycle. Today is April 2nd when I'm recording this, so this may resonate for you, may not, but go ahead and if you are an earth sign, Definitely go ahead, manifest more abundance, more money by planting some coins, praying to your ancestors, and this is going to be of importance for you. Also stay grounded. Stay in the present by going out in nature and buy yourself some flowers and some plants. You might be a Taurus also. So here we got the number five. Five is the number of change. Okay, so I'm going to read the card. It says, one tree from earth is best to see. It springs from birth, good help for thee. And if the tree should reappear close to the quadrant, your goal is near. So go ahead and plant something. You may be worried about your health or those around you. I'm hearing those around you may be dealing with this disease, this uh, pandemic, this COVID-19, Okay. Go ahead, say a prayer for them, and get some flowers, okay? Get some flowers, anything beautiful, anything you find beautiful, lilies, trees, bamboo, and um, put your hands in some earth, okay? I'm getting told not to pull any more Lenormand cards, so I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the regular Rider weight Tarot. If I get any reversals, I will read the reversal. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Okay, Temperance. Again, the card of Sag. Um, you may need to get balanced at this time. I'm getting told, again, the balance is coming from the Six of Pentacles. So Sag, you might be a Sag. We've already had that here. It's reconfirming to me you might be a Sag. Okay? That's the, the Fixed Angel for me. The fixed angel for me is the divine letting you know that they're going to come in and fix whatever problems or anything you may have. So again, this is a general reading. I did ask, what is your life purpose? I'm getting told you may be a fixed angel. Okay. You may be able to fix things in other people's lives 
You may be a florist or a nurse. Somebody who touches others, okay? Again, stay grounded. I'm going to pull some more. Um, Rider Ray Tarot, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Please give me one card for pile number two. Five of Swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You may have had petty squabbles in the past with somebody recently. I'm getting told that you need to let it go. Anything that deals with your life purpose does not deal with anything petty. So go ahead and let it go. I'm getting told that you recently may have had an argument with somebody. And you need to make it right. Um, they're not saying it's your fault, but if you recently argued with somebody, go ahead and make it right. So, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me one more card for pile number two. What is their life purpose? Okay, the High Priestess. So, you may be very intuitive. You may be a Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. You may be very intuitive. She is she who knows. So you may know a lot of things deep down in your gut, but you may be afraid to bring it forward. Okay? You believe in yourself, but you need to get more grounded. You are cunning. You are very observant. You need to stay that way. Okay? You need to trust your intuition more. And again, this pile number two as well also has gifts. So what are their gifts? Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, give me the gifts, please, for pile number two. What is their life purpose? Okay. Okay. So these are in the reverse to me. Okay. King of Cups and the Six of Swords. So I'm getting told with the King of Cups, somebody walked away, somebody didn't give you their love, they may have rejected you. Okay, this may have hurt you very much. Um, don't let this stop you. I'm getting told, don't let this stop your life purpose, okay? Keep pushing on. You moved away in the past. You walked away in the past. Again, these cards are reversed to me. I am the reader. So you may have walked away. You may be thinking about going back to somebody, okay? If you need to apologize, go ahead and apologize. But do not, do not go back to this individual, that's significant for somebody. I'm getting told to pull again. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Give me one more card for, yeah. Okay, so I, I just put these cards around too. So it still came up in the reverse to me. So don't hold back, okay? Four of Pentacles. Again, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of earth here. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, don't hold back. You're holding back too much. You need to put your best foot forward to live your life purpose. You know what you need to do. You're very good with money. You need not to hold back. You hold back with people. I'm getting told you hold back monetarily. I'm getting told to pull another card, okay? So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. This is letting you guys know that I'm, I'm flipping these cards over. So they're, they're coming out in the reverse. Give me one more card, please. Okay. Give me one more card. For pile number two. Okay. King of Swords, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, you may have cut somebody off again. I'm getting told you cut somebody off. Don't let that hinder you. Um, King of Swords. Somebody who's very logical, very analytical. Um... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You may be a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, may not. The person who you may have cut off may be these signs. Don't let this stop your life purpose is what I'm getting told. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pull your charms. Let me know if it resonates, please, in the comments down below. So 
for pile number two, what is your life purpose? You got the number two. You got the E, the S. I'm hearing Sammy. Serena, G, and an I. Sergio is another name I'm hearing. Okay, who? You may have kicked somebody out of your life recently, I'm getting told. Okay, you want to travel? You want to you wanna get out of here? You want to get in your car and do a road trip? I think a road trip will be good for you. I think it will open you up to your life purpose a little bit more. You may be somebody who needs to drive. For your job right now okay go ahead and go ahead and get out in the air oh and i mean so may mean something to you may not okay again we got b g i e and s so it may mean something to you may not you may be somebody who likes to wear boots steel toe boots number two Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go over your cards one more time. Again, you got the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Cups was in reverse, the Six of Swords was in reverse, Temperance card was upright, High Priestess was upright, Five of Swords was upright, Six of Pentacles was upright. Okay. You got the cunning woman, number one. You got silent, observant, wily. You got Virgo. You got Sag. You got Taurus. I'm feeling a lot of earth energy with this pile. You got Scorpio. You may have dark hair naturally. I'm getting told naturally dark hair. The tree is going to be of importance. Get out into nature, touch soil. Bury some coins in some soil for magic and to bring forth your gifts. Also for health for others. You may be worried about the health of others. Aquarius and the King of Pentacles. So again, don't uh, concentrate on the gender, male or female. This is a general reading. Please let me know in the comments down below if it resonated. If it didn't resonate, that's fine too. Go ahead and leave me a comment. And let me know of any other pick up power readings you would like me to do. Thank you. That was your pile, number two. Thanks for coming. If you picked pile number three, the palita, the black uh, dustpan, this is your pile. First card we got is Elf Struck, Enchanted, Beguiled, and Spelled, 18. One plus eight is a nine. You may be a life path number nine. I'm getting here air energy. You may be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with this pile. Elf Struck, you may have elves in your ancestry, or you may have and a, a fascination with elves, I'm getting told. Things with pointy ears. You may have blonde hair, you may not, okay? You may also be fair skin, very light skin. I myself, I'm very light skin, even for a Mexican, okay? So elf struck, enchanted, beguiled, and spelled. Okay, your life purpose may be to help others Okay, I'm getting help others. I'm getting animals with this pile. Next card we got is the Nine of Cups. So Cancer, Virgo, excuse me, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you may be somebody who likes to drink. You may be a bartender. You may like to be around people who go out for drinks uh, frequently. I'm getting told drinks. So drinks, you may be a mixologist. You may be a barista. Okay. 
um, I'm getting told drinks. You may be somebody who works in the processing of cans of soda, okay? I'm not sure why I'm hearing that, but okay. Strength, you may be a Leo. You are very strong, okay? You have a very strong A-type personality is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing stubborn. You may also be a little stubborn. We got here physical fitness. Okay. You may be in the fitness industry. If you are, that's great. Stay in that industry. I'm getting told. You are in your life purpose. If you have anything to do with people eating healthy, drinking healthy, or being healthy. Stay in that. That is your life purpose. I'm getting told. Okay. Next card, influencer social media. You may use social media as a platform to reach out to others, maybe to inspire people with workouts, with eating right, eating healthy. I'm getting told, keep doing it, keep doing it. People will follow. Stay strong, I'm getting told, stay strong. Next card, Gemini. You may or may not be a Gemini. You may attract Geminis, I'm getting told. Next card we got, teacher education. Again, this goes, this goes all together with influencer, physical fitness. If you're using social media as a platform, keep doing it. You are reaching out to others. You are affecting others. Okay? Please leave down in the comments down below. If you especially resonated with this pile, I want to see who resonated with this pile, okay? Capricorn, you may or may not be a Capricorn, or you may have Capricorns in your life. You may attract Capricorns. Me, personally, I, I attract Capricorns. Next card, helping others, okay? You definitely help others. I'm getting this very, very strong. Um, I'm getting told you have people that watch you, and you don't even think they do, but they do, okay? They come to your pages, <clears throat> excuse me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, hell, TikTok, okay? They are coming to your page to learn from you. Keep doing it. Next card you got is Pisces. You may be a Pisces. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some of the Lenormand deck. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me one card for pile number three. What is their life purpose? Thank you. Ancestors, give me one card. Okay. I got three cards. I'm going to take all three of these cards. Okay. We got here snake, number seven. We got here coffin, number eight. And we got the key, number 33. Three plus three is a six. So six, seven, eight. That's synchronicity right there. That's telling me that we were meant to pull these, these three cards, okay? So six, seven, eight. You can't make this up. These were not put in any order, okay? So key, I'm getting told right away, you may have the key to the city. You may get to a point um, where you influence people on a grand scale for your city, for your state, for the world. This is what I'm getting told with the key card. I'm going to read it in a minute. Snake. Be careful of snakes around you, people who aren't their authentic self. This is not you. This is people around you. You have people who want to ride on your curtails, cork tails, your, your tail, basically. Watch yourself. You may need to do protection. Um, spells you may need to carry around smoky quartz or black obsidian I'm getting told mm. I'm not sure if you if you get um, crystals I carry around at all times amethyst and clear quartz they help protect me they help heal me they help help me clearly think and talk um, yeah, black obsidian, smoky quartz, 
you may need to wear an amulet to keep these people away from you because you you have a destiny to influence others to be a teacher eight a coffin i'm getting told with this coffin card you may be out here um you may be an essential worker your job may be to help others during this time, okay? This COVID-19 is going on. We're still in the middle of it. Uh, you may need to inspire people, you know, get them going, get them working out, get them eating right, give them some inspiration. You're not doing it, I'm going to be told. You've been slacking. You need to keep, keep on your path, okay? I'm going to go ahead and read these cards now. Number eight, coffin. Illness is known, sickness is near. Fate has its own ending to fear. You lose your money, all's hopeless to you. And what is the sadness? Your courage fails too. So don't be afraid to get out here. You need to get some protection though. I will tell you that right away. You do have people around you that are not, um, they, want, they want to stop you from what you're doing. Don't let them. Number seven, Vio is the serpent who lulls with bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. So again, this may be a female around you. I'm getting told it's a female. It doesn't have to be. Somebody around you wants you not to succeed. Go ahead and check out my reading that I did um, two days ago. It was titled, Who Hates on Me and Why? That might be of importance to you. Key, I'm going to read it. It says, inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight are easy to trace once the final piece tumbles into place. So again, I'm getting told you have the key to the city. You have the key to unlock anything you want to unlock when it comes to your life purpose. You need to get some protection though. Take soft baths also, okay? And clean out your chakras, do some Reiki. Let me know, please, in the comments if this is your pile, because I got um, some Reiki to do. All right. Whew. That one was fun. I definitely want to know for pile number three if you pulled it, who you are. I'm going to go ahead and pick your charms now. And I'm here. I'm going to Michael, I'm going to Gabriel. Give me charms for pile number three. All right. I have some charms fall on the floor. I will pick those up. I do pick up some stuff on the floor because I feel like it came out for a reason. Okay. So you may do makeup. You may influence others by the way they look. Okay. Again, with the physical fitness, I'm getting told you help others to feel good, to look good. Okay. You may be a makeup artist. Doesn't have to be. Again, this is a general reading. Okay. You are the plug. People come to you when they need something. You provide a specific service. I'm not sure what that is. It could be, you know, you're a coach, you're a life coach, you're a personal trainer. But people definitely come to you. Your, um, your life path, your life purpose, it will include people coming to you, needing you for stuff. Again, we have the paper clip here. Um, People need you, they need to bind to you. They need you for stuff. Ring, I'm getting hair. You may be getting proposed to soon, or you want to get married soon. And it may come. Okay, let's pull the ring. Again, binding. You're getting stuff to bind things together. Okay? So I'm getting that um, you are the glue for things and for people. So keep that in mind for your life purpose. You may be the middleman. People come to you and then they get their resu result. People come to you, much like the plug, you know. They come to you for whatever they need, baby. So keep that in mind. You are of importance here. So we got here a J. I'm hearing Janet, Jack, Z. X, Xenia, Xenia, I'm hearing, F, A, F, J, 
G and a blank space. I'm not sure what that's about. Let me see if anything else fell. Uh, one other cell. Okay. R. Okay. So if you pick pile number three, please comment down below. I definitely want to hear who this is. Okay. And again, your letters are J Z. J Z. No. A F R X F G. Shout out to Jay Z if you're on here. Plug. You got a paper clip. Makeup. You may make people feel good. Uh, you may do jewelry. As long as you're told right now, you may be a jewelry maker. And you definitely are somebody that people go to. You, you help buying stuff. All right. Your cards again. The key, number 33, which is a six. The snake, which is number seven. And the coffin, which is eight. Okay. You got here Pisces, Capricorn. You're an influencer on social media. You help others. You're a teacher. You're an educator. Physical fitness. Honestly, I thought these were going to come out for each pile, but they all came out for pile number three. Gemini, strength, nine of cups. Again, you might be a mixologist. You may be a bartender. That's cool. If that's what you do, girl, keep doing it, man. Keep doing it. You're, you're great at your job, okay? And then you have your elf struck number nine. So with synchronicity, that's funny because you got seven, eight, nine, literally. And then the nine of cups. So these numbers may be of importance to you. I think that's cool how it came, 789, 6789, okay? So if you came, please go ahead and let me know if this resonates. If it didn't, also let me know, but for part particularly number three, please let me know if this uh, resonated with you. All right, give me uh, recommendations for any more pick a car readings. And thanks, thanks for coming, I had fun. Have a good day. Be safe during COVID-19, guys.